Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be like a little Sunday in my life, at least that's the plan as of right now. Um, this is my first official vlog fully in my new place. I'm so happy here. Yesterday was like the first night that I fully slept here with like everything of mine here. And I probably got like the best sleep I've gotten in so long. Honestly, I was probably just exhausted too from the whole moving process, but I love everything about here. I swear the water makes my skin and my hair softer. I don't know, I feel like more motivated here. I feel more inspired here with like all the sunlight and everything. It's not super dark anymore. I just honestly feel really good. Um, I have so much more to organize. I'm definitely gonna have to show y'all my bedroom because it looks like a tornado went off in there. There are so many boxes. I have so many clothes to hang up. I feel like I don't know where any of my stuff is. But for some reason, with all that being said, all of the chaos that is happening right now, I decided I wanna break in the kitchen, okay? So I want to cook something and we are gonna be cooking Berea. I haven't made Berea. I made it one time, maybe like in October. I haven't made it in a while, but when I did make it in October, it turned out so freaking good. I do follow a recipe kind of lightly because I make it my own as well. And I kind of like the last time I made it, I remember I combined a bunch of different recipes, but I'm gonna look up the woman right now who I mostly follow her tutorial. Like she just made it really simple. What's her name? Cooking Cooking with Claudia, cooking con Claudia. There's a lot of different recipes and I definitely wanna start making more stuff that she has because she's very easy to watch and understand and like you can easily replicate what she's doing at least from the Berea recipes. Shout out to her because I used um, her video last time and it was very helpful. And she just has it very easy. Like in the description box, she has all of the ingredients that you need. I tried to get everything. I actually door dashed all this stuff. Don't ask me why I door dashed. I don't know why I wasn't thinking and I did door dash instead of Instacart. And this sweet old man was shopping for me for all these like different things. Like it's not like when you buy, like when you're making Berea, you don't just buy like a lot of regular stuff. I needed all of these little chilies and like all of this stuff that he didn't know what to get. And he did mess up a few things which is fine. Like, I gave that man a really nice tip and I placed another order <laughs> through Instacart this time for a different grocery store and I got the other extra things that I needed. The only issue is my Instacart order says it's not gonna get here until by 5.40 p.m. I'm hoping it gets here sooner than that. I don't think I need any of these things right away. It's mostly just the chilies, a couple seasonings, and tortilla chips. So I think I'm gonna get started on the cooking of this. I do need to dry my hair as well. Let me dry my hair. I'm gonna try and set up my Apple TV, even though I don't have Wi-Fi right now. That's the reason why I Instacarted my food because I need to stay by my computer. I'm uploading my current weekly vlog and I've been using the Xfinity hotspot because since I'm gonna be an Xfinity member, I just don't have my modem yet. So you can like use their hotspot or something like that so i've been using that to like just watch tv and like be on my computer for work and stuff in the meantime until i get my modem it's taking so long and they weren't open the number that i have to call um they aren't open on the weekends so i'm gonna call tomorrow and be like if i don't get it today can i just go to an xfinity store and pick it up it's wi-fi drama i wish verizon serviced out here so that way i could have just transferred because i love verizon but yeah my video has an hour and a half left on it it's about 15 percent uploaded at this point and i'm used to at my old place with verizon my videos took about three minutes to upload so oh great oh great okay so a shopper just started shopping for me and it's a woman i love when i get a woman instacart shopper because they just get it more than the men like no woman would mistake this for a jalapeno pepper i'm sorry they just wouldn't and no offense to the men out there they just wouldn't mess this up. So I'm happy that I have a woman and she's done over 2000 orders. She's gonna be amazing. She's gonna get everything that I need. I'm gonna try and set up my Apple TV though because I read online that you can do um, your Apple TV through the hotspot on your phone. So I'm hoping that I can do that because I hate not having the TV on in the background, especially when I'm cooking. So I'm gonna go research that and then we will start cooking pretty soon because I have to start because the burrito does take quite a while to simmer so we gotta get going. I just wanna cook in this kitchen so bad. There's so much more counter space and I'm living for it. So happy right now. For some reason, 
it actually lets you connect with the Xfinity hotspot, which is amazing. I don't know how many of you out there would ever need this info, but if you don't have Wi-Fi for a little bit, you can connect to the Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspot and you can still watch TV if you have Apple TV. So I'm very happy right now. I can watch my Real Housewives of New Jersey while we start cooking. My cats would just let me have one thing. That would be nice. So like I said, there's no sense in me telling you guys how I do everything because I'm just following mostly a recipe, but I added the short rib and the chuck roast into this pot with some salt. There's seven garlic cloves in there, a whole onion and bay leaves. And now I'm waiting for it to go to a boil. And then once it goes to a boil, we need to simmer it for two hours. Yeah, it's just a waiting game since I don't have a gas stove anymore. It's definitely taking a little bit longer i'm not used to the electric stove life again but cooking all of this should break me in also i'm going to be making a salsa verde as well so freaking easy and so good and we're just waiting for this to come to a boil and then we'll put the lid on for two whole hours that's a long time so it's been a few hours i added some tomatoes in there probably about I don't know, like 45 minutes ago. So I added two Roma tomatoes and I've just been letting it simmer for a bit, but my peppers have finally gotten here. Random assortments of everything that all of the Instacart shoppers were trying to find. So I'm gonna make this work. I have to like de-seed them and then we boil them for a little bit. And then you put them in a blender with a couple other things and it makes a sauce for the consomme. Let's get started. I also ordered tortilla chips and I've been having some because Clearly moving is getting the best of me. So many boxes. Those are all empty now. I've been working y'all, okay? I've been doing my thing. That is bedding that I need to wash. That is trash that I need to take out. Lots of stuff happening, of course, as always.
been a little bit since I last touched base with you guys, but I just made the adobo sauce, I believe is what it's referred to as. And it's still really hot. Um, I just want to smell it. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah, it's really smoking. Okay, yummy. I was afraid that it was going to taste a little weird because I don't have all of the chilies that I was supposed to. But it tastes pretty good so far. I just thought I would keep you guys updated. I believe, if I remember correctly, I add this back into the broth. I'm just not sure if I need to shred the meat first before I add it back in. Forgot to update y'all, but it's on a low heat right now. It just is going quite crazy. I should probably turn it this way so that way more steam can come out. But the adobo sauce that we made is back in there with the meat. And now it has, it's supposed to be another hour and a half. I think I put it in there at like 620, I want to say. So we have a little bit longer um, just until the meat gets a lot more tender. And then we're going to shred the meat and add it back in and then you're done pretty much until you want to make tacos i like to leave it for a little bit longer to get really flavorful but it smells so good i already tasted the broth of course it's super spicy and amazing i like making it at home because you can make it more spicy if you add more um sorry about my pronunciation chile de arbo that one is really spicy so the more you add of those the spicier it'll be i think i added seven of them so hot like once you touch them you do not want to touch your eyes or anything on your body because it will get really burned doing their thing we have about like another hour i would say until i shred the meat that's why i don't like electric stoves i already need to clean this whole thing once um i'm done cooking once it gets cool because this is not cute but luckily it's not that bad right now The Berea is almost done. I put ice in my wine. I'm having a glass of wine. Go cry about it if you don't like ice in wine. I am a child when it comes to wine. I don't like anything that isn't super sweet. So this is what I'm drinking. If you like sweet things, you will love this. It's technically a Moscato by Via Jolanda. <sighs> I really like this brand <laughs> because it's $10 and it's really good. I had some last night. I pour it all the way up. Just absolutely delicious. I've had, um, they didn't have it at the liquor store that I went to, but there's one with passion fruit in it, and that is really good as well. But the blueberry one, I never had that until yesterday, and it's amazing. So I'm gonna have this and make the um, salsa verde, which is just tomatillo, a bunch of those. We have to boil those and then add them to the blender which I cleaned. Sorry, it's so dark in here. I like the mood lighting, but you add the tomatillos. I forget if I have to boil the jalapeno pepper as well. There's jalapeno pepper, garlic, and I forget what else. I think just like a little bit of the water that you boil it in, and it's so good with the burrito.
All right, so in here, now that I know everything, is half of an onion, three cloves of garlic. I did two jalapenos and I left the seeds in because I like it spicy, but you can take the seeds out if you don't want it to be as spicy. There's about half a cup of cilantro, the juice of one lime, and then one and a half pounds of tomatillos. So now we're just going to blend this up. This is the only container that I have to store this in, but I'm gonna pour it out now. Hopefully it's good. I'm just gonna salt it to taste after I pour it in. You guys need to make this. I can smell how spicy it is already. Literally the best salsa you will ever have. Running really low on my salt. I'm gonna pour some of this in. You don't need that much. And then just give it a good mix. All right, so here it is. Ignore all the bruises all over my body. Like, do you guys see this one? This is all from moving. I bruise so easily, so I have a lot of bruises. <laughs> yeah, let's give this a taste test. I'm gonna put it in the fridge, so that way it cools down a little bit. Perfect. I have no words. Mm. Absolutely delicious. If you want it even more spicy, add more jalapeno, because it's kind of like it has a little kick to it, but it's not super spicy. So you guys can definitely handle two jalapenos. I believe in you. Now I have all this homemade salsa. I'm gonna have to make sure I do recipes this week that can have salsa verde with it because I need to use this up. It's too good to waste. All right, we're almost done. Everything is complete. So I already prepped the plates. We have the consomme, if it'll focus, and the salsa verde. There we go. So the consomme is the broth from the uh, barilla and then some white onion finely chopped a little bit of lime juice and cilantro if you can see i'll show you a better view after then we have a little glass of the salsa verde and now we just have to assemble the tacos so i need some olive oil i like barely know where anything is i need to get a new container for my olive oil but i'm just gonna put it on like a low to medium heat i would do medium at first and pour a little bit of oil in there we go we're gonna let this heat up for a second i think i'm gonna make two because i feel like three i'm not gonna be hungry enough for three now we take a corn tortilla um this is not the brands that i normally like i forget what the brand is that i like but the guy on doordash said that they were out of stock so you take a corn tortilla and you dip it in to the broth okay you can do this with tongs but my berea isn't that hot anymore so i mean it's still hot but it's not like burning so once you get it dipped it'll look kind of like orange like that plop that down i'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit more for now just because it's not hot yet now i shredded some cheese i don't know how to pronounce the cheese that i use but it starts with an o and then just add some of that all over. I need this to get hotter. Let me put it on the high burner for now. Let it get a little bit melty and then we're gonna add some of the meat to it. Fold it over. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro in there as well. Let me do that now so that way I don't forget. So add a little bit of cilantro like that. Okay, now that it's starting to get hot and kind of pop up a little bit, I'm gonna turn the heat down a touch and we can take some of the meat. Oh, it's so tender and delicious. Like it literally just falls apart. We're gonna add some of that to like half of it. Last time I made this, I got so many questions on Instagram and everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of cooking today. This takes a long time. So definitely like a weekend activity or when you have some extra time, but add the meat i kind of want a lot in these oh look at that so stunning okay now that we added the meat i'm gonna fold it over and then we're just gonna fry it until it gets nice and crispy i always kind of mess up the first one and it's like too soggy but they get better as you keep going and then we get to enjoy Try not to burn them. It is kind of an art, but 
I'll be back once they're done. Yay, we are finally done and we can eat. So you dip the tacos into the consomme and then I like to have some of the salsa as well, dip it in there because it's a little bit spicy and then always have like a lime wedge on the side. So good. It takes a long time, but it tastes uh, in my opinion, even better than like the restaurants that I've had it at. I know I probably didn't do it like the full authentic way, but I did it the best that I could with the resources that I had and it is so delicious. I will leave the video down below that I followed in case you guys want to try it out for yourselves. The only thing I do different is she just uses chuck pot roast. I do half chuck pot roast and half short rib. I don't know if she did it in the video or not, but she has like two different videos. One of them, she only uses chuck pot roast and I use short rib as well because I think it tastes really good. It's kind of expensive to make, but it's like a fun thing to do on a Sunday when you have nothing going on and you want some really, really good food. So I'm going to enjoy this and watch Real Housewives of New Jersey. But now I finally shared with all of you how I make this amazing, amazing meal. afternoon everyone it is the following day yesterday i was just really tired and honestly i'm so tired today too i think from the move i need like a good two weeks of like recovery before i'm back to my fully energized normal self but i just made my bed this is my first time putting bedding on my bed i was just sleeping with a blanket on my mattress i'm actually doing a brand deal with the mattress company so i slept on the couch like the first night because i needed to film that yeah, it's just been a lot honestly the sun beaming into my apartment i'm realizing it adds so much heat to the apartment like i am so hot right now I'm really about to break a sweat just from making my bed but i have to just say to all of you out there i am so happy in this apartment like i never thought that i would be as happy as i am i'm gonna show you guys what the bedroom looks like in a second also look at my nails so so terrible this is what moving does to you people it makes you ugly so i'm gonna go get my nails done probably tomorrow i just have way too much work to do for the rest of the day today that i probably won't be able to make it today but maybe i will no, I should, I should stay in and do my work. I just wanted to update all of you on how I'm feeling about the apartment. I woke up today, I made breakfast. I had like a bagel and two scrambled eggs and I was just cooking and I was in pure bliss. Like I love my apartment. I love the kitchen minus the countertops and the small fridge. Like everything else about this apartment, I love so much. The lighting is so good. Like, look at this lighting. I, n I never got natural lighting in my other apartment. It's like crazy how now I'm like, oh my god, it's like too bright. I never had an issue like this before ever. Like it was always just so dark and almost like a dungeon in my apartment so now having all this natural light i'm just not used to it yet but i'm so happy i feel like i wake up in the morning although i said i'm tired i just wake up earlier in the morning because i just let the sun pour in they are working on construction outside right now i know a lot of people were very concerned about that for me but i think the windows are like really soundproof or something because i only hear like faint beeping noises from like the excavators and the cranes or whatever they're called like, i really don't hear loud noises all day long and they're working like right across 
um, on the building across from me. So I don't hear anything. This might be just all in my head, but my hair and my skin has been so much softer ever since I started showering here. Like there's something in the water. I think that my old apartment had really bad water because whenever i would go to my hairstylist before i remember like when i first moved there she was like your hair is turning green like i don't know why there's so much green in your hair do you swim a lot and i was like no and she was saying to me that she thinks it's because of my apartment um water and i think it was making my skin really dry because now when i get out of the shower like i just feel so soft my hair I know for a fact my hair is about 10 million times softer than it ever was in the other apartment and I'm using like the same products that I always use. It just feels so good. So overall, I am so happy in this apartment. I'm gonna show you guys what my bedroom is looking like right now. Tonight, I'm definitely gonna do some planning because I need to plan out like just what I'm gonna buy. I'm not gonna buy anything tonight, at least I don't think so, but I need to plan out like what rug I want, what dining chairs I want, what bar stools I want, um, what rug I want for in here, what dresser I want, what rug I want for my office. The list goes on. Obviously, I'm not gonna buy all of that at once, but I just wanna have a plan of like what the vision is that we're going for. I need like a couple art pieces, of course, because I don't have anything behind my couch. I want to change the thing in my office. I don't have anything above here. Like I need some stuff. So I want to plan out everything that I want to buy and then I can just kind of start checking things off, you know, month by month or every couple weeks buy something for the apartment. So that is the plan for tonight. I do need to get some other work done for another video on my fitness channel, but overall I'm just feeling really happy. I can't wait to go to sleep tonight since I made the bed and we have fresh bedding on. This bedding is from Brooklinen. I really like it. I like the feel of it. I was sponsored by them over on my other channel. I love the feeling of it. It feels very like hotel-like and it's very cooling. The only downside to it for me at least is, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it comes out wrinkly every single time. I need to invest in a steamer because there's a lot of wrinkles on this, but it'll go away eventually it's just that there are a lot of wrinkles and the other downside that i've noticed is that if my cats sleep on my bed like the bedding material almost like clings to their hair as opposed to like my other bedding it doesn't do that as much but i just have to like lint roll it a lot more than my other one all right so here's what the bedroom is looking like so far i definitely need to upgrade my bedding as well and make it look more hotel like i know that um stephanie rose stephanie rose clark has like a tutorial on her youtube somewhere of how she makes her bedding look so good because her bedding looks incredible it looks so luscious and like plump because mine kind of looks like sad right now so i need to research that stuff too and maybe order some stuff on amazon for that but overall i'm super happy with the bedroom so far i'm so happy to see like my nightstands in here since i haven't used them yet these are from nathan james if you watched recent vlogs but they're so cute i have them all styled how i styled them before so those are the nightstands and then the bed of course this is from ikea it's just the ikea mom bed and then if you turn this way there's nothing over here since I don't have a dresser right now. My old dresser from Ikea, one of the drawers broke and I just didn't feel like taking it over here when I knew eventually I was going to get a new one. So I, that's probably priority number one is a dresser because I have nowhere to put my pajamas, underwear, socks, all that stuff. So a dresser, a black dresser, it's going to go right here, a TV above it. I'm thinking an accent chair over here of some sort, like a cute little chair of some kind i don't know and then over here kind of where the boxes are i'm thinking like a big mirror because it makes sense to have a mirror in here since that's where my clothes are so a big mirror i want it to be one of the ones that has like a black frame on it i think i think that would look really cute so mirror dresser tv chair and then let me know what you guys, sorry if that just made you dizzy, let me know what you guys would put over on this wall. Like I'm thinking just like a little bench, ignore my cats, they're just being weird, but I'm thinking just like a little bench or something, maybe with like some artwork above it, because it is like a pretty big wall that looks so plain. I'm also obviously going to put something pretty big up here 
TBD on what that is, but we're gonna put something up there as well. But I don't know, I just feel like this wall over here looks so dull without anything on it. So let me know what you guys would put there. Like I said, I'm thinking some sort of bench with some artwork situation, but I'm totally down for other ideas. So let me know. I love my bedroom so much though. It's honestly so big with this hallway right here. Like when you look in, this is all that you see. I love it. <laughs> look at my dirt pile. <laughs> it literally looks like a mountain in real life. You're just like, what? But yeah, I think that'll be going away pretty soon, but I actually don't mind it at all because I like the fact that they're working over there because at night, it is just pitch black out there since like nobody lives in any of these buildings. Like that one's not even close to being done. But yeah, I think like, look at it. There's like that building over there. I think that one is the next one to be done. And then we have this one, this one, and this one left to do. I like it because at night it's just like, like I said, pitch black out there so I can keep the blinds open. It is so much better. Like even when this is all finished and it's a little grass area, it is so much more private than what I had before with like a parking lot right outside of my unit. Like these buildings are way further away than at my last unit as well. So I just feel like I have more privacy in general. I don't know, overall, I am just like so happy here. And I didn't think I was going to be, I was really nervous about all of it, but I'm really happy now.